It is 8.38 on a Friday morning. IndyCar Racing returns to Texas Motor Speedway this weekend. Good morning to a couple of the top racers on the circuit. Indy 500 winner Juan Pablo Montoya. Yes, and he joins us along with Simon Pagano, who's also a member of Team Penske. Thank you both for joining us. Are, are you getting pumped up? Yeah, we're really excited to be here. You know, this is one of the most exciting races we do in the year. You know, Texas is pretty cool. Uh, the tar, you know, the track has a lot of character, has a lot of bumps, and it wears the tires a lot. So the tire degradation makes you li slide around a lot. That it, it's fun. It makes it fun for us. What, what is the difference it, from the spectators' point of view? I know it's got to be vastly different uh, than, than what we're used to here in Texas, which is NASCAR. What's the difference from the spectators' point of view? Because the rules are pretty much the same: go fast and turn left, right? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest thing for the fans is, uh, you know, the fact that we race at night is, uh, is a really cool, uh, really cool feature. It's very different to uh, any other races we do. It really shows really well and uh, there's going to be quite a bit of side-by-side -side racing. Uh, a lot of action on starts and restarts. Those cars, you know, IndyCars are a great job with the uh, aerodynamic, the new, your new uh, body kit on those cars. And the Honda and the Chevy look very different. So uh, that should be an exciting thing as well for the fans. You know, Juan Pablo, it was great watching you win the Annapolis 500, and I love seeing your kids with you at the end. I know your dad was really influential in getting you into racing. Are you going to do that with your kids as well? Do you want them on the track? Well, my dad, yeah, was a big part of it. You know, my dad used to race go-karts as a hobby, and, and he's the one that got me started. You know, he helped me all my career. And I have a 10-year-old boy that races, been racing about three years. He actually won the Nationals last year oh, wow. here in the States. and. Yeah, he's going, he's been racing this year as well, and he's going actually, we're going to do a couple of races in Europe later this year as well. Uh, there have been some, uh, some safety improvements to kind of actually control the cars, keep them on the track, which I suspect is even more important on a shorter track. Indianapolis is two and a half mile uh, circuit. Right. This, is, this is one and a half miles, so you got a lot, a lot more tighter turns and a lot less uh, straightaway. Uh, yeah, um, <laughs> it's uh, it's true. It's you know here is a is a big bull ring. You know, it's uh, it's definitely a lot of banking. Very different to Indianapolis, where it feels flat to us because it goes so fast. But here, here you got to play with the banking. You got you have different lane you can run, which is uh, actually really good for racing. You know, so um, you know I think uh, by the end of the day, when it gets cooler, we'll be able to run maybe two or three lanes and. And there's going to be really, really good action at the end of the race. Okay. Can't wait to see the action. Thank you both so much for joining us. We appreciate it. And, and what happens Thank you so much. tonight? You got the NASCAR, uh, the truck circuit is tonight. Then tomorrow night, um, the Firestone 500 IndyCar race. 600. 600. Um, all I need is new glasses. <laughs> uh, we've got a link to tickets on Fox4News.com. Yeah, the one who stops at 500 miles. Unless everybody keeps. I thought, <laughs> Not going to win. <laughs> I thought we were done. He told me Why are we still going? <laughs> it is 841.